so funny. They just can't wait. They can't fucking help themselves, dude. Okay. Um. It is. What two days before the Fourth of July now, and um, for the last two days before this, everyone in this fucking neighborhood has been shooting off fireworks until like, I mean, I didn't go to bed last night until. 3.30 and there was still shit blowing up outside. And then there's some guy out there right now who I can't see but he's screaming bloody fucking murder at somebody. <sighs> so fucking annoying. I wanted to record and shit. But I don't know if I'm gonna be able to record if someone's having a fucking knip. I just, I have no idea where he is. I can't see him anywhere. But anyway, um... I'm sure this vlog will have lots of fireworks in it. It's like nonstop. But a lot of the fireworks aren't even like fireworks, it's like explosions that, I don't know. I don't know why people do anything. So I am making these damn Project Broadside folders, okay? And I want them to be super graffiti-like. To kind of get people into the idea that they should be maybe writing stuff places. Okay? But guess what happened? Alright? I'll tell you. A lot of these I wrote on the wrong side. Because the way they were in the box weren't this uniform. So each one was fucking different. So I burned through about one, two, three four, five. Five of them are garbage. But I did get the rest of them. So here is the version two. One with Mindy, me, Tim, and Bunny. And then the version one is Mindy, Thomas, Tim, me, Bunny, and Nate. So pretty cool i'm gonna put these together now and see what we got i'm beginning to think that my neighborhood is unsafe there seems to be shit going down all the fucking time yeah that is right on rampart or coronado that's what that is. Okay, we're gonna see what's going on down the street because people keep turning on the street and then backing up and going around. So I don't know what's happening down here, but let's look. Because I can't see. surprised with how there hasn't been like crazy like fires from fireworks like with all the crazy fireworks that are here like it's not like half a block's on fire or anything and so today we are doing the annual thing I do every year which is why it's annual what is that you say it is me going to deal with my car registration. I am super stoked about it, as you can see. Um, I wasn't gonna do it until Wednesday, since uh, Tuesday is a holiday. And then guess what happened? I'm gonna tell you, it's gonna be funny. Um, I realized that Wednesday is kinda shit, so I'm gonna try to get it done today. Because if I don't get it done by Wednesday, I have to pay a late fee. I could have just postmarked it and sent it in the mail. 
hey, you know what happens when you send stuff in the mail? It takes forever for you to get your ticket, your sticker. And then you know what happens in LA? I'm gonna fucking tell you, it's gonna be funny. Uh, um, the police force in Los Angeles, California, uses expired tags as the excuse to pull people over. That dude's butt is out of his pants. That's a bit much for me right now. So, because this is the same month that my shit expires, sometimes cops even take that as a reason to maybe pull you over. So, instead of wrestling with shit in LA, I'm going to go to the Auto Club in Burbank. I was in the middle of editing podcast episodes because I have the episode that I did with Andrew from Heavy Board, which is probably going to end up being three episodes. And then because of the short list, I decided to do um, a couple episodes that highlight the poets from the short list. So I'm doing that. Um, the other thing I need to be doing is making books. I have a ton of shit to print. I have a ton of stuff to post on Etsy. I still have to build my new website and the new Poetic Anarchy website, which will then have the Poetic Anarchy shop on the website. And I'm supposed to be doing web design for um, the San Fernando Valley Zine Fest, but I don't know exactly when I'm supposed to do those things. And I haven't gotten the things that I'm supposed to be doing for that yet. So I guess that's on the back burner. I did just roll through a stop sign. I feel kind of bad about that now, but not too bad because you know what they say. In case you don't, I'll tell you. No cops, no stops. That is what the fucking saying is. Um, the other thing that's going to be really fun is that right now it's like in the high 80s in LA. I'm going to cross this weird barrier, which I don't even understand. And I think all the barrier is, is this freeway. But when you get onto the other side of the 101 and you're in the valley, the temperature jumps up like 10 degrees. It's fucking weird as shit. And for those of you who don't know exactly what I'm talking about, or for those of you who might know what I'm talking about, the best example of this is when you are leaving the valley and you're going on the 405 out of the valley and you go over that big hill over by the Getty. As soon as you go over that hill, the temperature just fucking drops and you feel like you have been saved. You feel like, like, like you've been like just dying of thirst in the desert and somebody just poured a bucket of water on you. It's the weirdest fucking thing in the world. But you know, that's California, so suck it, the rest of the country. Last night I was up on the roof of the building um, looking at people shooting off fireworks like three or four days early. And I just, Oh god, I'm gonna get smashed by this truck. Oh shit, shit, shit. Motherfucker. And I'm gonna get smashed. Okay, I already said that. But uh, I was looking at all the buildings, like in the city, and each building has the little tiny squares full of light, which are obviously the windows, duh. And inside each of those windows, anywhere from one to five or six, Oh my god, 
god, we're stopping. What is happening? Oh my god, we're coming to a complete stop. Jesus fucking Christ. Stop. Oh my god, that's a big truck. He's coming up my butthole. Why is everyone fucking stopping? Dude, I just came to a complete stop on a freeway that every other lane was moving on. Fuck me, dude. Fucking idiots, dude. I swear to fucking god. It's fucking noon. Motherfuckers don't know how to fucking drive, dude. I've decided that I'm going to be wearing my shirts when I go out in public and when I do videos. And as soon as I'm done doing those things, I will take the shirts off and wear normal gutter trash clothes that I wear. So that's fine. I, I gotta rep the brands, dude. Rep the brands. Okay, just so you guys know, if you're ever on the 101 at any time of the day, do not ever ever be in the slow lane until you pass Hollywood Boulevard because more likely than not some fucking dill hole is going to slam on their brakes and everyone wants to get off on Hollywood Boulevard which I don't understand take any other exit and then get to Hollywood it'll save you hours fucking rookies dude because I'm out and about and having to do shit that I don't want to do, I figured that I would treat yourself today. And maybe, I don't know, go to fucking Del Taco. I haven't been to Del Taco in a while. I've been eating really clean lately. And um, losing a lot of that COVID weight. Not the weight I gained during COVID, but the weight I gained after I was trying to heal myself. Okay, so this is Barham. When you exit the 101, and I need to get over so I can turn right. Because this, right up here, is the valley. This is in LA. This is where movies are made, dude. This is what everyone's always talking about. Uh, let me get over one more lane. This is Universal Studios right here. Right next to this homeless encampment. Okay, dude, what the fuck are you doing? Pick a lane, dick! Jesus fucking Christ. Stupid so we're coming down here now. This apartment building down here, um, it's called the Ava now. It used to be called something else, like Oak something or another. That's where Nirvana stayed when they recorded Nevermind with Butch Vig, if anyone gives two shits. It's a pretty big um, community, like uh, apartment condo place. A lot of Hollywood people when they come here, that's where the studios put them up at and shit. Um, we're going to be passing Hogwarts. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but I'm going to try to shove the phone out the window. And hopefully, for those of you who are into nerdy shit like that, can see it. And there, off in the distance, is the Warner Brothers Water Tower, where um, Wacko, Yakko, and Dot live. Okay, we're going to do this. Um, hopefully my earbud is connected. So yeah, so that's the Warner Brothers and the Warner Sister Dot. And just for fun, they run around the Warner movie lot. They lock us in the tower whenever we get caught. I just got copyright and striked. Whatever. Yeah, so these are Warner Brothers Studios where they shoot a bunch of shit. The Ellen Show was shot right here. Um, that show with the nerds. Big Bang Theory. All of these are the studios. I used to live right across the street here. Um, Young Sheldon, All American. What else are they shooting there? Jennifer Hudson, uh, Blue Beetle, and Barbie. Those are the things they are shooting. Or just shot, or whatever. Um, I kind of want to go down there to that gas station. I like that gas station. Let's just try to fucking get to where we're supposed to go. We're gonna have to get on Alameda here in a minute. Dude, this is a good show for y'all. 
let's see. Oh, the Burbank Studios. This is where they uh, used to shoot uh, The Tonight Show. Um, they have Johnny Carson Park right up here. Um, they shoot Days of Our Lives in here. But it used to just be the NBC Universal Studios, and now it's the Burbank Studios for some fucking reason. That's Johnny Carson Park right there. Um, and this is Bob Hope Drive. Oh, KCET's right here, for those of you who know what the fuck that is. The CW offices are right here. Uh, and this hospital that we're going to be passing is the, usually most shows with a hospital in it. It's this one. Um, the Cosby Show Hospital. That's that. Oh, now we're passing Buena Vista, so these are the Disney Studios. This building right up here, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. That's the... Um, the Disney Animation Studios. And I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. It's like, I don't know, I can't even put my finger in there. Um, all of the things on the fence are Mickey Mouse heads. And they actually paid somebody to go around the whole um, estate and count how many Mickey Mouse heads there were. And I'm sure you could Google it. I can't remember what the number ended up being, but it was like the most fucking ridiculous number. I don't know if we're going to come back this way, but if we come back this way, you'll be able to see the um, seven dwarves holding the building up, like big statues of them, because Walt Disney put everything on Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, and if that movie didn't make money, then Disney was going to crumble. It did so that's the building that the seven dwarves built and then when we pass this a little bit there's the I don't know if it's called the Fantasia theater but it's a theater that has the um, Mickey Mouse Fantasia hat as the building it's this big giant stupid hat thing um, oh excessive horn use someone's been getting mad at so it's in here. I don't know if you're going to be able to see all that, but yeah, whatever. I might have just ran a red light. I wasn't paying attention. Fuck me. Fingers crossed, guys. Let's see how this works. I had to go get money out of an ATM over here at Chase Bank because AAA doesn't have a fucking ATM. Building right there. Right there. That's been vacant for years. And back when I lived in North Hollywood, which, good God, was like six years ago, I was trying to get that building to open a pinball arcade and then have my um, film production company run out next door of it because that building's been vacant forever and it's still vacant and back then the prices were so fucking high I just I couldn't justify it especially with the amount of money I was gonna have to spend on getting the pinball machines you gonna fucking run me over motherfucker ah, these fucking people so now what I'm thinking of is maybe for sale or lease. Huh, can I see that number? Let me see that number real quick. I have to go get the line. Let me see. Let me zoom in on that. Okay. Because I'm thinking that might be a good location for Poetic Anarchy Press and the bookstore and the venue to do readings. There's ample parking. It's near a lot of different freeways. People can find it. It's a good sized venue. And it doesn't look like there's a bunch of people breaking in. I mean, it's not LA, it's in the Valley. It's still LA County, but I don't know. It's like 10 minutes from where I was at. Hmm. What do you guys think? 
do you guys think I should be doing an actual brick and mortar for this shit? Let me know down below. Okay, just got out of Starbucks. And I haven't been to Starbucks in a bit, so there was a bunch of new drinks that I've never heard of before. And I got this. This is a white chocolate macadamia cream cold brew. So we're gonna try this motherfucker out. Oh my fucking god, that's good. Okay, let's go get some cigarettes. I can't drink this without a cigarette. So look at this fucking beauty right here. Oh my god. Fucking hell, dude. Fuck. Funny thing, just so you guys know, the people who work at the AAA in Victorville are much more attractive than the people who work at the AAA in Burbank. Don't know why, just a weird fucking thing. Second, that car was amazing. I would love to have that fucking thing. Whenever I fucking come to Burbank, dude, I start getting all bougie and shit, dude. I fucking, it drives me nuts. Anyway, next. Um, I just went into a gas station. I had $40 cash in my hand, son. I asked for a pack of cigarettes because I don't have any cigarettes. Hey, just an oil change. Oil change, bro. Yeah. Give me a couple minutes, I'll be with you. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. I, dude, these look so tiny. They fucking drives me crazy. Um, because I didn't have time to make cigarettes because... I had to leave because I realized it was 11.58 and it's Monday, which means they are going to ticket cars today on the street because they ticket cars on Monday and Tuesdays because they allegedly clean the streets, although the streets are never clean. So whatever. It's a scam. Oh yeah. So I gave the dude 40 bucks. Okay. He gave me the cigarettes and I'm like, put the change on, um, pump number one because I got to get gas and shit too so he puts the cigarettes on the counter and he says five dollars and I'm like five dollars and I, like I didn't say anything I didn't make a face but I haven't paid for um, a, I haven't paid five dollars for a pack of cigarettes in two decades okay like I seriously like even when my kid was born, cigarettes were like seven bucks. So uh, it, it just boggles my mind, right? So I told him to put the change on the number or whatever. And he says, okay, so that'll be uh, 3867 on pump one. And I'm like, okay, and I get out of there. And I'm like, Okay, so first he said the pack of cigarettes was five bucks. And now he's saying it's like two bucks. And I'm like, this is bullshit. Like, it can't be this good, right? So I fucking go out and I start pumping the gas really fucking fast. And sure as shit, it was like 37.62 or something. Or 38.62. And I put the gas. I pumped the gas and I got the fuck out of there. Um, I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. Not today. Alright, so we are in Boynes. No. <laughs> we're in fucking Burbank, dude. What the fuck am I talking about? Okay, we're in Burbank. And um, this is my old neighborhood. Uh, this is Magnolia Park. This is where I lived when 
Yeah, my car sounds worse than it did before they worked on it. This neighborhood, this is where I moved to when I first started making movies. And I was actually doing well and being paid well and all that other shit. Um, I had a little house right near the street here. And um, it was a... This is back in 2010. 2009-2010. It was a three-bedroom house with a guest house and a cabana um, that I was paying $3,000 a month for. And um, it turns out that the guy who owned the house didn't really own the house. It was a foreclosure. And he was just collecting rent off of me. So this is a cool little neighborhood. Um, lots of shops. Portos is right here. That place is like banging all the fucking time, dude. But uh, I do not follow trends. So when I see a long line for something, I assume it's crap. And I move on to the next thing. Floyd's Barbershop. That place is badass. It, it's expensive as fuck, but it's badass. And then you're gonna see like a lot of little studios, like places like that, like special effects houses and stuff like that out here. Chandler Boulevard's awesome. There's a park in the middle of the road. That's where I taught my kid how to ride a bike. It's pretty awesome. But a lot of times when you watch movies and TV shows and you see people driving down the street and stuff, this is like the neighborhood they drive in, um, up and down these streets here. Pretty interesting. But yeah, so this is the area. It's so funny. Um, when I was watching uh, Workaholics, I used to fucking love that show. And every single fucking thing they had on that show for the most part was in this area like if they were driving up and down the street like you guys have seen the streets they drive up and down like when there's shots of them driving up and down the street uh, the places they go to you've seen them we're actually where we're going to be going right now to the Del Taco up here that's around the area where the Telemericorp offices are. Oh, in fact, if you keep driving up this street and then hang a left, that's where a bunch of the stuff from Parks and Rec was shot, where the Dunder Mifflin Paper Company building is, um, all that shit. Yeah, the building is right around here. There is a dome right there that I've never seen before. Why is there a dome right there? What the fuck is that? I think I'm supposed to turn here. Drunken nights, altercations, um, good business meetings, shit like that in that place. I made another filmmaker cry in there. My kid met the Zach and Cody, is that what their names were? I don't know, the kid, he ended up on um, Riverdale. I don't know his fucking name. He's a twin of some kind, sweet life something, that guy. No, there was this filmmaker that I wanted to um, bust his head open because he always talked shit on me and I would hear it from other people. And so one night after the convention, um, I was in there and I saw him and I fucking, like, let's go outside, dude. <laughs> like, we went outside and he just started fucking bawling his eyes out and telling me how he's sorry. 
actually inspire him and that's probably why he talks shit. And so then I felt bad because he was like really opening up and having a moment and I had to like calm myself down. And I hadn't even fucking said anything. All I said was, let's go outside. He knew. <laughs> he fucking knew. I didn't fucking say a goddamn fucking word. Okay, we're gonna fucking have some Dell in a second, guys. So for those of you outside of California who don't know the goodness of Del Taco, um, I don't know what to say, but you live in a shitty fucking place. So um, when you get around to it, get to California, not for fucking Universal Studios or Disneyland or Hollywood or anything. Get to California for maybe in and out but um, oh shit, it's right here. More importantly, Del Taco. Oh yeah, this is Bob Hope Airport, the Burbank Airport. This is the airport that um, Lucille Ball and Bob Hope um, put money in to make so they could fly to Palm Springs and not have to go all the way to LAX or drive to Palm Springs to their um, summer homes. I just saw a picture on Instagram of Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz in front of the Desi New Studios. And, like, I know they had their problems, but I fucking love those people, dude. So, Lucille Ball, dude. Like, she was a comic genius or whatever, but a business genius... She was, dude. Fucking brilliant. I met this dude who worked on a movie of mine, um, Randall Malone. He used to be on that singled out show on MTV. But he was apparently really close with her um, up until her death. And we were working on this movie, and it was a kind of a big production. And we just spent almost the entire time like shooting the shit about Lucille Ball and he brought his um, scrapbook um, one day after he found out what a big fan of hers I was and we just spent all day like I'm supposed to be directing a fucking movie we spent all day just going through his scrapbook and him telling me stories of him and Lucille Ball I fucking couldn't believe it dude so I'm gonna order enough food to last me for the next 24 hours here so I don't have to fucking cook anything. <sighs> That's not what I fucking ordered. But um, she got the food right. She got the quantities wrong. But, you know, I'm not going to bitch. Oh, that magnolia tree is blossoming. When do your guys' magnolia trees blossom? Leave it in the comments below. I don't remember the last time I've seen a magnolia tree blossom. I don't think there are any magnolia trees in Westlake. Maybe there are. Here, you guys want to see it? Here's one right there. And there's one right there. I don't know if you can see that. I can really see it. So yeah, so we are going to eat fucking Del Taco like we're gonna die. So... It's happening, folks. It's happening. All right, let's get some fries, dude. Del Taco fries, man. Oh. So it used to be when I would get all fucking tore up and drunk at night, I would go to Del Taco and get a quesadilla and some fries. Clear me right up. So there's no Del Taco right near me in Westlake or anything like that. The closest one's in Hollywood, East Hollywood, right where, uh, oh, are you really going to fucking turn in front of us, you douchebag, you piece of shit, puss of shit. Um, it's right where uh, Fountain and Sunset meet. But, like, that's a bitch getting out there, so I never go to Del Taco now, really, unless there's something I have to do out in that area. And honestly, it's probably better for me to not be eating fast food every five minutes anyway. 
as I shove a bunch of cars in. Shot a movie at that church right there. That was the last day of shooting for ghost goggles. So there, there's a awesome back catalog. It's not. Uh, was the kids movie I did. Oh, we have a really nice shot of the Warner Brothers Water Tower coming up. And the only time I've ever seen that change. See, there used to be a Del Taco right here. I used to go to all the time. But now it's a Starbucks with a drive through Oh my God. Get out of my way, guys. I found a Starbucks drive through that used to be my favorite Del Taco drive through things are looking up. Unless there's a lot of people in line and then I'm not going to fucking do this. I ain't got time for this shit. How is this line? Oh yeah, that's... I'm not going to fucking do that. So this right here, Gate 11 um, at Warner Brothers. If you go down right here, this is where the Friends Fountain is, where the Amityville Horror House facade is, where the Happy Days house is, um, what else is in there, Gotham, like from the Batman movies is in there, uh, and that's where they do their animation too, so like Scooby-Doo and shit like that is all done in there. what ended up becoming Slasherton. But I was pitching it to Warner Brothers to see if they wanted to do like a show about it. And I love this car wash sign coming up, so everybody look at it and drool because it's beautiful and amazing. It's so fucking mid-century modern Americana beauty. Oh my god, I fucking love it. Dude, these motherfuckers are driving so fucking slow and fucking my shit up. Oh, it's waxing. I thought that was like for your crotch. That's funny. Anyway. So we had a meeting in there. And um, I didn't want to fucking leave. I wanted to go check out the place. So we snuck around and hid in all the facades of the buildings. And they knew we hadn't left because they keep track of that shit. And they kept sending security guards and fucking little go-karts out to look for us. And once we got to Gotham, we lost them because we like kept running into all the buildings and jumping into like the subway stairs and all the doors and the stairs and all that shit, they only go in like five feet. So it's not like you're actually going into anything. It's just like, you are here and now you're there. Ah, I'm gonna die. Okay, no, we're okay. Death averted, and now I'm the guy that's too far away for that car. Sorry, dude. Oops. I wonder why they don't have posters up on this building right here on the corner. They usually always do. I've never seen both sides clear like that. Oh, gremlins. Holy shit. I used to live down this street here. Chow Christina. This is awesome. My kid used to go there during the summer and get gelato with her friends. Oh, wow. Ah! So as soon as I stop or start fucking recording, goddamn fireworks stop. It's not even fucking sunset. Or it's not even dark. The fucking... It's not even 4th of July yet. And it has been going off like the last hour. And I'm just like, this is really cool, guys. But give us my... Oh, there we go. Yep, we got something. We got something. Oh, that's nice and quiet. That's not too bad. Are you fucking joking me?
camera out and they stop their shenanigans. Get some shenanigans from down there.
Oh shit. Oh, that got all fucked up too. Some car caught on fire last night. Yeah. They towed it away. <clears throat> I don't know if it was fireworks or not, but they towed it away this morning. Okay. Do so. You live here? Yeah. I'm sorry. Do you live right here? I live up there. Yeah. Do you, have, do you guys have cameras or something? Um, I don't think they have cameras if we come down this far. I think this place has cameras. Probably about 10.30. 10.30 last night? Yeah. Okay. Roughly around that time. Okay. Thank you. That sucks. Alright. Thank you so much. Did you just find out? Yeah. You know? That's awful. I'm sorry about that. Thank you. Yeah, you take care. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. Thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew of the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.